black men in the comment section saying, oh, you have all these high demands, but what do you bring to the table? Good question. Studies have shown that black women are the highest paid and the most educated. I myself graduated with my associate's degree at 18 and graduated from college with my bachelor's at 20 with a degree in communication sciences with an emphasis in speech and language pathology. I live on my own, have my own car, make about 70,000 a year and don't have any kids. So I'll never ask for what I can't offer. And as far as what I'm bringing to the table, I bring me and you can't sit with us. Oh man, our society is really, really messed up, man. <laughs> she out here naming. <laughs> Hold on, what did she mention? Hold on. So, I'll never ask what I can offer. And as for what I'm bringing to the table, I bring me, and you can't sit with us. You gotta mention so many black men in my comment section saying, oh, you have all these high demands. Like, <laughs> it cracks me up at what they, what they say. So, she says the highest paid, most educated. She graduated with an associate's degree at 18. and graduated at 18 with a bachelor's at 20. With a degree in communications and science with an emphasis in speech and whatever it was. I can lie. That is impressive. That's no easy feat. If you're able to accomplish that, congratulations. You can remember a bunch of crap on a paper. That's going to get you so far in life. But to go through that, that's no easy feat. And you got to show appreciation. But when it comes to attraction, <laughs> that does not. As she continues to build herself an even deeper hole. What is she saying? Have my own car. Don't care. 70,000 a year. Okay. Don't have any kids. Okay. This is a 304 in absolute resentness. We as guys do not care that you have those things. Reason why is because they don't benefit us. Like you make 70k a year. You're not going to spend that on us at all. We are the ones that are spending the money. We are the ones that are being drained of the resources. Not y'all. Definitely not y'all. You got a car. You gonna be driving me places 24-7? No. No, that's just not how it works. Guys are the ones that bring the resource in. Women are the ones that bring in the cooch. Sucks to say, but that's how it's always been. Women didn't have a cooch. They're gonna be putting in much, much more work than what they're gonna be bringing to the table because guys would not be going with that at all. Like, there was a species of human that did not have the cooch. That did not have that. What do you think would happen? Like, honest to God, I'm sick of women saying this crap. In which I bring this, 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 that. And it's stuff that does not benefit us. Women think that their education really, and I mean really, discourages men from approaching them. And that is as far from the truth as it could ever be. I don't care that you went to Harvard. I don't care that you got an eight-year degree. I don't care that you majored in computer science. I don't care if you're in STEM. I don't care about that. Only thing I care about is you got a fatty and if you got a good looking face and if you're in shape. That is all we care about. Literally could be working at McDonald's. You could have a nice body, a nice face, and I wouldn't care. You could be in the lowest economic status in history and of time. But if you're bad, shoot, take you out of the gutter. This stuff nobody cares about. Of course, it's nice to have a smart female to make your main. But other than that, most of the time, it doesn't even matter. Guys just want a loyal girl. That's the secret code. Be fit. Like, you don't even need to have a good-looking face, man. If you just have a good-looking body, that's going to get you so far. If you're in shape, so far. In shape and loyal, that is what you really need to hold a man down. Like, honestly, honestly, most of the girls can't even cook. They can't even hold that femininity up to that point. So why should I bring masculinity in? Or at least that benefits them in a relationship. Why should I bring that in? If they aren't going to do the feminine stuff. Like, most of these girls aren't fit for a relationship at all. They're not. They're meant for the streets. And that's the, that's the thing that sucks about it. Well, you know, as men, in 2021, I dated the video. I'm sorry. If you're watching in 2022, I'm sorry. But we're going to have to get through this, man. If you really want a relationship, you're going to have to air out your woman very, very extensively. You're going to have to air her out. You're going to have to check if she's a 304. You're going to have to check if she's meant for the streets. In other words. So, overall consensus is nobody cares about your degree. Literally, nobody cares. People flex the degrees like it's some huge achievement. No, it's not. It really isn't. I respect it. 
Because it's not easy. But outstanding achievement? No. How many millions have you made? That's the conversation I'm trying to get myself into. I'm trying to make my first mill. That is the people I respect. Because making a mill is not easy. Shoot, making 100k is not easy. I'm trying to make a mill. So I'm going to be talking to people that make a mill. And if you can't bring that up to discussion, then what's the point? Because you can't scoff at one. No, you can't. You can't scoff at it. He made a mill. You can't scoff at that. But other than that, this is going to be a little short video from the clip. It's amazing that women really truly believe this. Because guys could care less. Guys could care less about your little degree. Honestly. And that's how it is. This, I'm coming from an attraction standpoint. But... Other than that, man, I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all stay safe, and I'll see y'all. Peace.